I'm Edie Lash, and I'm here inside the Hub Culture Studio, right here on the Hub Culture Summer Campus in Davos 2022. Really pleased to have with me two friends from our partners at Unity. Thanks very much for coming along, guys. We have Tim DeGray, co-founder and co-CEO of Unity, and also we have Ken Randall, the VP of Product. So what am I wearing, first of all? What are these? Why are they so disruptive and interesting? Well, this is the first uh, headphone that is a, a, it's, it's a platform. It has, uh, it's, uh, it's a device in its own right. It's no longer an accessory. So it's, it's a headphone that can stream high resolution, uh, high resolution uncompressed audio wirelessly. And it uses a combination of uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Okay. And so what we've essentially built is a computer over your head. So you can pretty much have any application. What, is, what does that mean? Application or uses. Uh, so, for example, so we've been operating in, um, in stealth mode for a good five years developing the product. And we just launched officially at South by Southwest in March in Austin. And the feedback was incredible that we got. We had people approaching us. They want to do uh, deals with us with, uh, for, for medical purposes, uh, for autism management, uh, for pain management, for ketamine clinics that have an audio component to it. And they, they love the product because for the first time, they can, they can actually embed the software that they need into the headphone. And it's a device that just holds everything. Um, it also it has a number of sensors on it, 12 microphones, uh, head tracking, gyroscope, accelerometer, things like that. Uh, so we're set for spatial audio and immersive audio uh, for the metaverse and beyond. I was going to get to that, actually, because it sounds like these are built for the metaverse, but it sounds like it's also built for some other things. So give me a sense of the kind of ways you can see these being used in a way that makes a real difference to people's lives. Well, the first application at launch is high resolution lossless audio streaming. So music, everyone just gets it. There's lots of music streaming services that are offering high res tiers, but there's no way to actually use it in a headphone unless you're wired into a system. So we're going to give users and streaming services the first opportunity to take advantage of all those streaming tiers in a high res lossless headphone environment. So that's music. Spatial is another huge one. Um, immersive audio, as Tim mentioned, metaverse. You can't truly be immersed if your natural human motions don't align with what you're listening to or what you're looking at. So when you add sensors and motion tracking, it makes you, it really blends the kind of reality and the augmented world together. And that's truly what we're trying to create in the metaverse. Uh, beyond that, there's applications with partnerships, like we mentioned, healthcare, um, different types of therapies and treatments. All of that is possible because we can run our own software and algorithms in the headphones. I can see that these things might be useful for treating PTSD, and, uh, and actually you mentioned, you mentioned autism, and I can see, but give me a sense of, of why, why that is, why, why it's so kind of revolutionary for these okay, sort of well, things. Okay, well, you know, there's companies like Headspace and uh, Calm and uh, Endel and things like that, where they have, um, they have this audio component, and you have this uh, spatial or binaural, binaural beats that everyone knows about and stuff like that, and, and that's, that's great. Um, but again, the sound quality is unparalleled for starters. And we have the difference between uh, spatial audio and immersive audio is that spatial audio, when you turn your head, is still spatialized, but the whole thing turns with your head. Immersive is when the audio sound field stays put when you turn your head in the headphone. And that is the, the kind of the tipping point for the realism of it and the immersiveness. That's what makes it immersive. Um, and it's such a subtle thing, but our brain really reacts to that. And when you're dealing with like things like Calm and Headspace, where you have these surround, you know, these these uh, surround immersive fields, when you turn your head or you move your head and it's not moving, it, it brings you even more into that kind of the headspace. Uh, well, tell me, uh, take us into the future, so I can see uh, these being useful for for when I'm meditating. I can see them be having some interesting medical uses. Take me a few steps further into the future in terms of what you can see them uh, being used for. Um, if I look further out, we see kind of a, a network where, one, we're always connected to high res with zero bandwidth limitations. We're, we're at a place right now where connectivity, processing, power is available for everything and everyone. So there's no reason audio should still be sacrificed. You know, we shouldn't be streaming MP3 quality audio. The world should be enjoying lossless audio in any domain, whether it's for music or it's for, you know, entertainment purpose, television. 
Um, and I also see it, I see lab equipment that's typically used now with a computer and a isolation chamber for doing audio type testing. I see that moving into a mobile device and it's our mobile device that can support that. We're not a medical company, we're not promoting that, but we are providing a tool for research and medical that we think is gonna really advance kind of some uh, advanced hearing opportunities and things like that. Absolutely fascinating. Thank you guys both for your partnership with Hub Culture and for stopping by the studio here in Davos and I'm Edie Lush.